On a random weekend, I decided to go hiking with a couple of friends. Some coordination calls made, and first in the morning, we met at Daban Main Square. Some new faces joined us too, and even two Spanish hikers who tagged along with a friend. These two guys are traveling from Spain to Australia by hitchhiking and staying with locals. And here's part of their Iran trip. We had a short chat and was showing off a couple of phrases I knew in Espanol. On the way going up, when I was chatting with other friends, I realized that two girls who were part of our team are actually professional rock climbers. And we're actually going rock climbing in Bandi Yachchal area in Darband. That was a surprise. Rock climbing community at Bandi Yachchal has its own hangout spots like this cafe where we grab some breakfast before heading up to our destination. And here's where the two Spanish guys left us to continue their hike. I knew about this place called Bande Yachchal, which is the spot for rock climbers and pretty convenient for the ones who live in Tehran, since it's only two hours hike from north part of the city. This gigantic area covered with blue sky and surrounded by rocks in different shapes and sizes with people hanging or climbing up from different faces of these rocks. I could not believe seeing these many rock climbers all in one place. Some amateurs like me and some professionals like Parveen and Maryam. Parveen and Maryam, as the gurus of women rock climbers, know almost everyone here. And of course, everyone knows them. چهارده سال پیش بود استارتش من موقعی که برای کنکو درس میخوندم جمعه ها میمدم کوه بعد توی کوه با یه آقای آشنا شدم بعد بچه های باشگاه دماور و سنگ نوردی و با این باشگاه کلاس های سنگ نوردی و مقدماتی رو گذاریدم و مربی هاش گفتن که استعدادت برای سنگ نوردی خوبه و از هفته بعد اومدیم همینجا و سنگ نوردی از بند یخجال شروع کرد Every rock here has a unique name. There are different stories and rumors about the logic behind naming these rocks. But the fact is, if you're a professional and climbing a rock for the first time, then you can name it whatever you want and everyone else has to follow. I was a child of the child. 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 One is called Boots, another Frog, and the one we picked for climbing, guess what? Mariam. I know, sounds funny. Mariam is climbing Mariam. من در حال حاضر مربی درجه دو سنگ طبیعتم و سه سوت های ورزشی. Parveen and Mariam have been climbing since they were teenagers. And the fun part is, they have exactly the same birth dates. They started climbing first, showing the path and the gears to us. These are my coach's rock climbing shoes. They're a little bit small. She moves so smooth and acrobatic, like she's attached to this rock. Here comes my training part. So finally, I decided to give it a try and climb up. And she's going to teach me how to do it. It's... It's a little bit scary, but let me tell you, it's an experience that you will never, ever forget. Mayim invited us to her apartment, where you can find a rock climbing wall set up in her tiny little bedroom. Yes, I think she's a true climaholic. I really adore her passion and interest in what she loves to do, and no wonder why she's so successful in this sport. It's 9 p.m. on a weekend night. And what do you do as a rock climber? Well, the fact is rock climbing doesn't know day or night. And there's always a place to hang out, grab some gears, and climb some routes. Shahir Azimi for Iran.